So we got everything off. As you can see, all of our uh, wood paneling or whatever that they had on here is completely taken off. Uh, all this looks like good insulation here with the exception of all this black here, which we'll have to deal with. We'll have to get rid of all that. Um, it's probably dirt. Yeah, there might even be a little bit like some mold or it looks like it got wet at some point. So we'll probably okay. want to replace that. I'll have to buy some new insulation. I'll, pro I'll cut it off you know, above where the where that damage is and replace it. Over uh -huh. here you can see there's an area where they looks like they did some electrical work. These are the old cables which they just cut off and are no longer in use. Um, but there's a big area there with no insulation so we'll have to fix that. And here they just kind of patched in some insulation around the wires. That's probably not very effective so we'll again we'll take all that off and put in good insulation there and down there. Um, the boxes that they use for their for the electrical these are called after construction boxes and these are not actually a, attached to the stud they're just attached to either the sheetrock or the paneling themselves which it works it's good for when uh, when you don't have access to the stud but in this case we do so um, i'm going to replace these boxes for ones that are actually attached to the stud so first thing that we'll do is mark off where we want to attach the box I'm going to place a mark here at 14 and a half inches um, to the box. Let's see, I, oh, it looks like I don't have quite enough room, so we're going to make that to the top of the box. Man. This will be a little bit different from the standard height, but that's just because of the length of cable uh, to work with. So all that will be replaced then? Yeah, yeah. I think we we'll just do take that. it off clean, and clean up and around or clean the stud around and everything. It doesn't look like there's any moisture yeah. there now. And this throw away. It happened at one point, it's been fixed. But the but this is the damage that happened because I, I feel that this, this is dry. Yeah. So the insulation itself is not old. It's from, from 2011. Yeah. But for some reason, this specific section got wet somehow. 
and go before they did the, the siding on the outside and uh -huh. done wet with the old siding that it had because it has new siding outside maybe it ran because here it rains a lot so maybe one day was enough to just create too much moist in there and we'll probably put some kind of treatment on there to kill any mold or anything that may have started there yes um, and i don't think it's really growing because as you can see it seems to be pretty local it doesn't seem to be spreading anywhere so it doesn't appear to be active and that's probably because the the moisture problem has been taken care of yeah um, and then we're gonna replace all the insulation mm -hmm. uh, everything anything that's got mold on yeah. it we're gonna replace and get it out of here over here this is the way it looks like right now so top to bottom why is it different? The insulation here doesn't have the paper around it. Huh? The, uh, because they put the insulation from the outside and they. Uh, the which way so they the go. paper is the other way around. Yeah. I would have done the same way, you know. If the paper is on this side, I would do it both so the same way. <laughs> it's just funny. So now he's measuring the outlets to actually install, reinstall the outlets on that. Uh, they call it stud. Uh -huh. You're changing it because it's not ideal to be where it is now. What? The uh, outlets. The outlet, well, the, the type of box. This box, as it's you can see, is not attached to the studs. And it's now... Uh, it's, it's attached only to the... It, it would, if I use these, it would be attached only to the sheetrock. Now, these were strong enough. Uh, they work really well when they were attached to wood, because wood is really strong. But when you use sheetrock, if you're... If you're not careful with the way you plug things in and pull them out, eventually you can wiggle these boxes loose from sheetrock. So, so since I don't we really already want to use these boxes again now that I have the opportunity yes. to attach them properly to a stud. That way we avoid future problems of future outlets future getting outplaced. In the end. These are the type of boxes that you use when you have to, because you're putting in a box in a wall that's already there, already covered, you don't have access to the stud, and you don't want to have to open the wall up. Mm -hmm. And this becomes a really good option. Okay. So I'm, not, I'm not against using these, it's just that right now I have the opportunity to use something better. Okay. So he's been working with the windows open because there was a lot of dust coming out when he was taking the, the, panel, the paneling out. There was just some dust uh, coming down and just even, even if the dust is just dirt, it can like, it's not really healthy to breathe that in. So he kept both windows uh, the last couple of days, he just has been working with the, the windows open to avoid any the health problems. All right, so if we're going to be working with electrical, obviously turn your electricity off. So I'm going to check right now with my voltmeter and see if it's on. You're going to check if all of them work? I'll put this on here, yeah, and see now it's giving me 119 volts or 120, close enough. And I'll come over here. And I'll flip the breaker and let's see something outlets that might be it let's see if it turns it off mm, nope. didn't. that's not it that might have been the bedroom 2 BR2 let's see if that that could be it no I think nope. I know which one is it and I think it's this one here bedroom 3 okay, yeah let's try it that's it yes that one's off so now, now it's safe to work on that box. Because now right. it's zero. <clears throat> now, I would suspect that all of these outlets are on the same circuit. But just to make sure. <laughs> but how do you spell assume? Assume all of them have electricity. How do you spell assume? A-S-S-U-M-E. Yes, it will make an ass out of you and me. <laughs> so, this is a good one. verify. <laughs> okay, that one's off. That one's off? off. Okay, let's see the next. That one's off. Off, okay. Don't you want to check the other two just to see if they are connected to the same uh, okay. current okay. of electricity? So this wall, we're not touching it because this wall is new. It doesn't have the paneling that we are taking out. This already has she rock Yeah, that. Uh, that one's off. And then this is the last one. Last one. And it's off. Okay. okay, so officially all the outlets now here. Safe, now it's safe to work on. Then he's working on that box first. He's gonna remove that box and use another one he bought that is more uh, appropriate for the stud than this one. I'm limited on the amount of uh, cable that I have, uh, just simply because this is already in the wall, it's already been run. I would, well, let's see. Yeah, it's still not enough though. Um, so, ideally, 
All right, as you can see here, they put the ground wires together, which is what you're, what you're supposed to do, uh, but they cut off the pigtail on, on the end here. So if I disconnect that, I'm going to end up with a really, really, really short ground wire in the back which when I put it through the new box, it's going to make it really hard to connect. It may not make a good connection. Um, so ideally, you would have your, your wires like this. So ideally, I mean, you don't cut it then. Well, what I'm, what I'm saying is that ideally, you would have one wire coming in through the, the power in would come in through the bottom left hole on their box. Okay. And then anything going out would be in any of the other holes. Um, okay. In this case, I'm just going to I'm just going to cut out the back of the box so I can get all the wires together with the connection intact and put them all back in through the same hole in my new box. Ah, uh, that's okay. You know, that's not um, uh, it's not exactly the way that you usually do it in new construction, but here we're making you we're make, making use of well, the cable have. that we already have and trying not to disrupt the connections and the crimps that they've already done with the ground wire. Because so. if you did the brand new electric oh, yeah. wires, you would have to hire electric electrician. Well, no, I wouldn't, but I'd have to, I'd, my, my ground wire would be too short and then I would have to either lower the box to give me more wire or run a new wire. Um, or risk having a connection that's not so good in here, which we don't want loose grounds. So I think this is the lesser of two evils, is to just simply run them. Uh, so I will uh, destroy this box in the process. Oh, I'm opening this. Uh, opening the box? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Now I've got my wires intact, my ground connection here with the crimp. Is the metal. Yeah, see that's still intact. That looks good. It's been crimped down there real good and if I'm I can kind of reinforce that a little bit if I feel that I need to. There you go. I don't want to cut through that, just to kind of tighten it up. Which that looks really good. It doesn't feel loose at all. Which is that's, that's that's what that's what I was trying to save. Okay, so now I'll just run all these wires together into the new box. You normally don't remove that whole thing. You just slide one wire into one side, and another wire into the other side, and let that kind of just flip sideways. But since I'm running both wires together at the same time, that's it's going to be impossible to do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that and fish all of these wires through here. You have to put all of them in the same hole? Because mm -hmm. they're they're tied together by that ground wire. The idea is that you, you gotta have every part of the, the part of the wire that's exposed where we cut away the insulation, all of that has to be inside the box. Oh, okay. So we don't have any exposed wires inside the wall. What could potentially cause a problem. There we go. Everything good. All right. Let's see. Yeah, this has that. Line that up with my line there that I made. Are you going to install that right now, or are you going to put the installation first? No, I can do this right now. It doesn't. It won't, it won't change. I can pull this insulation behind, out from behind it, and then stuff new insulation behind it. It'll be no problem at all. So let me grab a couple of screws here. There we go. Yeah, come on, it sits nice and square. And this sticks out a little bit less than about seven sixteenths past the stud. That way, this the front of this is flush or level. Uh, it's flush with the outside of the sheetrock. Now all these wires here, I'll connect to my uh, new outlet, 
a nice, get a nice bright white. Show the old one. This is the old one, which it may be good. It probably is. I could maybe keep that as a backup. But it just, it looked dirty, scratched. It's not exactly a bright white. It's more of a, like an off-white or a yellowish white. Maybe they painted on it. Could be. I don't see any paint. I think it's just the color that it is. I like bright white, so. I'm yeah, I like it too. Alright, so we'll connect our ground wire. I'll tighten these up by hand by later. And then we'll separate out our commons. Black ones are hot, that's the ones that carry the electricity. And you have ground and then two commons. These are always safe to touch. Um, the white ones? White ones are, yeah. And if you notice, there's a one, uh, one of these, one side has gold screws and one side has like silver. silver type screws. Your commons go on the silver type screws, your gold ones carry the hot wire. Okay. So we'll put both of those over there, both of these over here. Get connecting. These two came from the same Romex cable, so we'll put those two on the bottom and the other two on the top. You can also, if you're using 14 gauge wire, you can just push it into the back. Where This I noticed is 12 gauge wire, which just allows us to run 20 amps through here. Probably unnecessary for bedroom outlets, but okay. Usually you use 14 gauge and have 15 amps in the box, but that's all right. Now that we've got all of our wires attached on there, the drill, um, doesn't really get it very tight just simply because you can't push very hard against there and uh, you don't really want to try to because then it can strip out. So once, it get, once we get them just sucked up to where the wires aren't coming loose, I'll go back and tighten it properly by hand. Just kind of give them a little, make sure everything's nice and snug, but not too tight where it strips out. See, that one was kind of loose still. There you go. Now, this will be harder now that this is, since this is 12 uh, gauge wire. We'll just shove all of these wires up in there inside that box. And we'll just leave that like that for now. Later, we'll attach this to the box. Um, but we'll do that after we hang sheetrock. If we do it now, these little ears will be in our way. Okay. So we'll just we'll just shove that in there like that for now. And I'm going to leave the power off here on these outlets since we're not using them, and we don't want little baby fingers to come over here and touch anything. Though I'm locking the door, so they not coming. Still, you can't get shocked on a circuit that's turned off, so we'll just leave it off. <laughs> this one here is a double, which is the same process, but we have two outlets. Okay, so we removed all the insulation. This insulation that has that blocks, black spot, we don't know if that's mold or if it's uh, just being wet, just got wet at some point. Now it's dried, so we don't know what it is, but there's a spot over there that we removed it. So the wood seems to be nice and clean over here, but we will still spray some water and bleach. And then we're gonna put new insulation in here that Daniel bought. The outlets are installed 
And there, the, he's installed over there as well. They also have this uh, electrical panel that was not attached to anything. It was just floating. And what was holding it was the wires that come to it and then the um, the outside, the, the cover was kind of grabbing a hold of the uh, of the wood and they had a few screws into the siding so now that I took that siding off that I had on the inside this is just floating loose so I put a couple of two by fours going across here and here and then attached it with some screws to that so now this is nice and solid we make the, this about a half inch or maybe a little bit less uh, than a half inch outside of this so that when the thickness of the sheetrock comes out it'll come out just even with this okay this appears, this right here appears to be more than a half inch, which is just, that's just the way life's going to have to be. I'm not exactly sure why they cut a stud to put that there, but... Over there we also have that spot that we're going to put new insulation. Mm -hmm. I'll throw all this out. Yeah, away. and I also like, I empty the room. So we took all the stuff that was here, the dresser, the crib, all the books that were there, and toys. I put it out. I took it out from that uh, shelves. Those shelves over here in the closet. I took it out. Everything here and over here as well. So now the room is actually completely empty. There's nothing here that is not construction related. Oh, the just the sword. That the <laughs> there's a sword here from the kids that they probably bought it they Samuel probably came here at some point and just dropped that there we are debating if we're going to remove that now back and forth at the beginning we told me we're not gonna do it but now maybe considering the idea of actually removing the ceiling at, at, at all but if we do that it's gonna make probably a really huge mess because the insulation is probably the old-fashioned style that's like below I think they blow, uh, they blow the insulation, so it's like not like, it's not like contained like that. It's like all over the place, so it probably would get, it would fall all, all over here. So I don't know if that's gonna be done or not. <laughs>